You know when you stumble into somewhere without really knowing what to expect, and it turns out to be amazing. That is exactly what we have here at Motocon in Uppsala, Sweden, just north of the capital Stockholm, where over there is a one-off Lamborghini that was formerly belonging to the Sultan of Brunei, a collection that is fascinating and intriguing to me and so many others. But we're going to be taking a look through the showroom, a lineup of rough cars. We have the Porsche Carrera GT. We've got a BMW M1 with quite a story. In fact, there's a room filled with epic Ferraris, JDM legends, and so much more. But I want to come and show you what we've got over here. As amazing as an early Countach is, and we could stand here all day talking about that car, what we've come to see is this, the Lamborghini LM002, the famous Rambo Lambo, but with a difference that you have immediately noticed. It's an estate, it's a station wagon, it's a seven seater. This is one of the Sultan of Brunei's many crazy projects. This was officially approved by the Lamborghini factory, a commission which today we're gonna to find out a lot more about, but this has been a collection with so many unusual and weird and wonderful things over the years. In fact, I remember filming the only right-hand drive CLK GTR. I filmed that over a decade ago. The Ferrari FX out at the Marconi Museum in California one of the many one-off Ferraris. Also, some of the Mercedes cars at the Patina Collective in Florida that had come from the Sultan's collection. And this is one of those. This is one with quite a story. And today, Philip, the founder of Motocon, is going to show us all about it. And we're gonna take it out for a drive. I can't get my head around this thing. It's enormous. It's a big, heavy monster. And we'll find out exactly how much so on the road in a moment. But before we do, we need to go explore here with Philip to see what's going on here at Motocon, standing for motoring icons. And believe me, there are plenty of those around here. Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello, and welcome back to the channel where today we're checking out this one of one wagon Rambo Lambo. I could spend a lot of time just in here. This is the room for JDM fans, an R33 400R NSX Type R, the Evo 6 Tommy Mackinnon, the last winning Godzilla. Plus there's the preserve with the Ferraris, which we're gonna go take a look at as well. But today is about this. It's about this very unusual car, this car that only exists because of the Sultan of Brunei's love of unusual, his love of creating something different to everyone else. And I say everyone else, there were only a couple of hundred of these to begin with. And I've been lucky to drive one before out in Florida also, as it happens in Miami. But this, this is a bit different. An extra 500 kilos or so to add this back to it instead of the more familiar pickup bed that the LM002 normally has. I think we need to go and find Philip though and have a look around Motocon and find out all about this place because like I say, I didn't really know what I was gonna be in store for today and I am very pleased that I've stopped by. Hi Philip, how are you? Hi Tim, very well. Welcome to Motocon. It is good to be here. What a place, where do we start? Um, yeah, we have some, <laughs> some, I think, interesting things to show you. So I think let's start with this room and then yeah. we have some more rooms. And uh, I think, uh, I hope <laughs> you will be interested to see what we have here. Definitely. It's going to be fun because some of the cars here are for sale, some are collection. Yeah, absolutely. What we, you could say, we do a 360 degree thing with uh, classic car, modern classic, future classic and uh, hypercars. Um, so so we, in this room here, the cars are normally for sale, all of them, not today, but uh, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the room where the cars, uh, where we sell cars. Yeah. And then we have um, cars that are extra close to our heart that we yeah. keep for a long time. That's called Motocom Preserve. That's yeah. another room that we will look into later if you want to. Uh, of course, <laughs> 100%, we yeah. must, we must. And then we, um, you know, we restore cars. Um, we think that this is supposed to be, you know, a, a meeting point for enthusiasts that love cars. Which is so, super cool. Yeah, it's so, super cool yeah. to do that. So talk to us then. What are we, what are we looking at? Where do we begin? <laughs> yeah, here, let's begin with the, the, the Pagoda and the E-Type here. These are our own products. So uh, this we work, um, you know, you specify your car and we do nut and bolt restorations and we kind of modernize them as well with like, for example, because we put in a, a five-speed electric uh, um, 
steer the gearing box instead of the yeah. old one, and we we did, so it's a bit of a resto mod. Yeah. And and we don't think you need to have them in or original colors. We think it's quite cool to make them like you really want them. Now, but somebody maybe will be very angry with me. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm all in favor. So you do that with pagodas and also with e-time. Also with e-time. So we restore them um, five at the, five at a time. Okay. And this we do the the. The Jaguar E-types we do down at Emoticon South, close to Malmö. So there yeah. we focus only do E-types. Okay, so, interesting. So, and that's, we feel the E-type is a design icon. And oh, for sure. Great driver. And uh, Pagoda, you know, high usability. Yeah. Everybody can drive it. But you also <laughs> have no shortage of 911s in here. No, I mean, <laughs> 911 is one of the best sport cars in the world. So we, we love the 911. So here you see everything from a short wheelbase, Nut and bolt restore. There is uh, the Targa yeah. uh, with S specification. We have from uh, Tatil UK that yeah. made this is the first SCRS made by made by Tatil with uh, okay. original Rotman's engine. Awesome. And uh, so this car is um, my companion is racing this a lot. Yeah, it looks good <laughs> in the mint green. I and have. here we have a, a nine level time capsule. Uh, it's with delivery miles. It's really? never it's never been driven. Wow. Even the battery is not feeling, <laughs> so it's absolutely time capsule. Stunning. Cool car, narrow yeah. body. And the favorite driver of mine is the, the, the RS. Yeah, oh, uh, 964 RS, That's of a pu pure 911 experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, then maybe in this where, where do we go? <laughs> this, this is quite cool. These, these well, this is a one-off, no. right? This is a one-off. This is an M1, one of the... Correct me if I'm wrong, I think they made 453 cars and there was 400 road cars. This is one of the road cars. And uh, this car is, um, is, uh, has the, the uh, pro, pro drive. Yep, the wide body. Um, uh, wide body uh, made by um, BMW Motorsport. And it has a really, really interesting story. It's been owned by the uh, Boney M. Frank Verein, uh, and he had it for many, many years as a driver. And we still have the original stereo equipment. Yeah. So the car is exactly as it was when he owned it. Full rock star car. Yeah, so we, we, now we just made you know, a full cosmetic restoration and went through it. It's really, really unique, and it, it looks so much more aggressive in, in, in yeah. this optic. For sure, a proper rock star car in <laughs> yeah. looks and ownership. Yeah. And I mean, other rock star cars, the roofs, you have quite a lineup of roof cars here. <laughs> the RCT has been head of uh, restoration from roof with all the upgrades and the new wheels and the wing and so on. And, and then we have the Turbo R 996 convertible. It's the only one, it's a one off, the only made one with the wide body from roof. They only made so one Turbo one. R convertible. So this is, uh, and also in a quite unique color combination. Yeah, yeah. What I've heard is that didn't like to make them convertible because it's too, too quick car. Yeah, it's yeah. too fast. Too much power. <laughs> yeah. So the, for safety reasons, they preferred to make only the, the, the coupe versions. And this is um, actually the, the famous press car. Yeah. And yeah. also the family roof, Alois, uh, their own car that they used a lot. Also, ah. only the, the back seat. And this had all the upgrades. Yeah. It went from 550 to 590 horsepower. So it's fully restored from roof. Zero miles restoration, just arrived. Yeah. We never drove at the meter. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, wow. then my companion, uh, he specced it exactly as he wanted it now. So now it's... Uh, no, he, I know he's, uh, he's longing to come home and drive it yeah, in, in sure. a few weeks. Absolutely stunning. And so this is the one from all the film and the books and, and so on. It's an extremely well-known car, yeah. narrow body. That's actually very cool. I love those kinds of stories. I mean, there are some cars with some amazing stories. <laughs> I, I love a Carrera GT. No secret, one of my favorite cars in the world. No, me too. I think this is such a cool color combination, the seal gray. Uh, it makes all the pop, you know, with all the silver details yeah. and, and uh, you know, with, uh, I think this is a, a car for the future. I dangerous it's car. Not already. Though, but. Yeah, dangerous <laughs> car. I've got to also say, by the way, I love what you have done here with the setup, the bar, the lounge, <laughs> the simulator, all the things on display, memorabilia. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now we do it here because as we thought of it, how would we like to have it as a customer ourselves? Yeah. So we started from a white blank paper yeah. and we did it as we wanted it ourselves. So we want, this is a, 
a meeting place. So people, you know, they need to come here and hang out and the people, everybody are welcome to visit us and to, to show them the cars. And we have the very popular cars and coffees here. Yeah. And a stunning view through to where we're going <laughs> in a moment. Um, mm -hmm. This Kuntash, which obviously shares a power plant with the <laughs> LMW2, yeah. but this is a very early one. Yeah, this is a, a Series 1. They made 50 cars. Uh, it's been uh, owned by two Swedish guys for 34 years. It's a real, you know, original car, low kilometers. Um, it's not um, over restored. It's in, it's, in, it's in very, very original condition, but we, we plan now maybe it was red with black new to, to, um, to bring it back to the okay. original color scheme. Yeah. But I, no, I think it looks beautiful in silver, yeah, yeah. so it, we, that's why we waited long to take that decision. But I f just think it's, um, it must have looked like uh, coming from the moon when it was yeah. presented. It's uh, crazy to think, <laughs> isn't it? This is yeah. over 50 years old. Yeah, and I just think um, everybody says it's impossible to drive. I think it drives quite okay. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I found the first time I drove one was how yeah. even with small shoes, you still can't press both pedals. You basically no, have to take your shoes off. the Italian way, but it's... <laughs> It's actually easier than the later ones because you don't have so much air intakes and mm -hmm. wings, and so the, it, it, <laughs> you don't see much, but yeah. you see more. You see more. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, uh, I just, you know, actually I would love to have it in my living room and never yeah. bring it out from there. It's such a design icon. Yeah, so, mm. yeah. stunning thing. <laughs> Before we talk too much about the LMW2, <laughs> we have to come through to, to this room because as collections of JDM cars go, <laughs> <laughs> Your display here is, is beyond words. We are really proud of this collection. I think that the mix of uh, Japanese and JDM cars is, is uh, quite unique, the mix. Um, I think I've seen more cars and uh, more extreme cars, but I think this mix with the NSX R Series 2 with the Evo 6 in, with 18,000 kilometers in original condition and uh, the 400R, of course, or yeah. one of 19 cars still there. And I think this is in midnight purple, one of three cars, I think. I mean, um, as, as R33s go, this is the one, right? This is the, yeah, yeah. the car. There's, there's no... No, this is... And it's so nice. We have so much young people traveling so far just to see this car. Yeah. They, they, it's, uh, it's a real icon. And it's, I mean, it's real deal. It's the real, you know, racing engine, carbon fiber body, Great balance for it's yeah. it's just an extreme car. It's it's um, I, 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 we're so 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 happy and it's um, I'm not the expert on the JDM cars. Yeah. It's it's my partner and he is <laughs> uh, he's the real deal when it comes yeah. to JDM cars. Um, yeah. uh, so I'm 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 happy that he brought this in yeah. <laughs> to learn about yeah. it. I mean for me as well. But having a 400R <laughs> alongside the NSXR is no the NSXR is. Um, you know, I think they made 140, 145 cars. This one is, um, I, I, it's so precise, this car. I, I, I drove many cars yeah. <laughs> through the years. And, I, and this is one of the cars that is the most precise. Everything you do and the balance and the handling is just so, this, I think it's really something for the future that people will really, really appreciate. This is what I would say, this is the last Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. This is the car. Um, group uh, A car that won the last race ever by uh, Tom Christensen, you know, the super famous yeah, driver with all the Le Mans wins. <laughs> and this is in, in exactly the same condition as it was from the last yeah. race. We just washed it and went through it, of course, technically. Yeah. Because what we do here at Moticon, we like to drive the cars. Yeah. It's not the museum. <laughs> so all the cars you see here, we try to keep them up to perfect shape. I love so that. So they're service. So if you want to go out and take a spin with a car, you tell me, we go <laughs> out. We just make sure it doesn't snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is that problem. There is that problem. Yeah. I'm just looking down here and spotting, like where in the world would you have a, a Mercedes 600 next to a, an Overfinch? Yeah, you know, you need like contrast, but you know, that's also the thing. The, all the things you see here, we only work with cars that we love. Yep. And, uh, and then we are, you know, two different, uh, from two different worlds, me and my companion. Yeah, yeah. That's why the di big difference <laughs> between yeah. the cars. I think the 600 is just some kind of dream. I had to own one yeah. once. <laughs> I've seen my, 
Um, my father had a car museum and he traded the, the 600 when I was a little kid. Yeah. And then for many, many years I thought I need to own one. And then I found one fully restored by the Wurle. Yeah. And um, that's my f favorite kids, my kids' favorite car. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to sell this one. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are also Overfinch as well. Yes, we're responsible for, for Overfinch in Scandinavia. We work with, with whole, whole Europe actually, so we convert the Overfinch cars, we're not um, allowed to sell them yet. <laughs> it's a few months left, but we, we convert Overfinch cars. So you can, now we have our own show cars to, to show what we can do. Yeah. And we also have, uh, you can come with your car and we convert yeah. it. Okay. And um, we, we don't say no here. We do yeah. what you want. And I love this, <laughs> this is your, your restoration shop. Yeah, here we, we have a few different restoration shops. So here we test cars. We dismount cars and we, we put them together again here. Yeah. You so. make it sound so simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's not. No, there's a bit more <laughs> to it. it. Yeah. Um, can we hop over and go and have a look at the Ferraris? Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, this is, this is uh, an okay room, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. I love to be here. This is... Uh, the preserve. Yeah. This is the preserve. So welcome to the home of Moticom Preserve. Wow. So these are the cars that are extra close to our heart yeah um uh you know tim as i told you i've been i've been the importer for ferrari for 20 years yeah. before so this is a part of my previous life yeah but it's still very very close to my heart and um so here we collect ferraris that we yeah as i said we only collect the cars that we really love yeah so we love the Maranellos. I can, I can tell, the, <laughs> so, the gated what? manual Barquettas and 550s. <laughs> yeah, this we have two cars over here that are the 575 stick shift cars. Yep. They made 177 of these left-hand drive cars. Okay. So they're quite unique. Yeah, that's not a lot. And there we have a really low kilometer 550. Yeah. Um, I just love, I think, at the time, I, you know, I'm so old, so I, I, I was delivered these cars new. Yeah. And um, I know when I drove these cars the first time, I was out on the autobahn and I was just screaming. And then I, <laughs> then I saw there's one more gear. Yeah. <laughs> keep going, that, keep going. That, that's how fast how it was. And, and the, the Barchetta, you know, they made 448 cars. I just think this is the best future classic. <laughs> Uh, V12 car to drive from a yeah. driving experience. It's just uh, with the sound and the V12 and the manual gear. I love the Barchetta. Yeah. It's a proper era, a yeah. proper era of Ferraris. I mean, you have plenty of, of stunning cars. <laughs> yeah, we have them. Then you have, you know, we try to have all the generations. We have, you know, the 599, the F12, the 812. Um, that's the 812. Uh, from the, the tailor-made, fully yeah. tailor-made car. Um, love the spec, yeah, and beautiful. here is, is, you know, I think I think maybe our most unique car. Yeah, it's um, one of the 122 Daytonas in a beautiful color, uh, unrestored, 6,200 kilometers mm -hmm. with one previous owner. So this is uh, uh, wow, and it's kind of a to drive, you know, like a Italian American experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's it's, uh, it's a bit different. It's a bit different. I love to drive it. And, um, and then it comes to Testarossas. <laughs> then we have actually we have all the generations of the Testarossas okay. here. We have the first delivered car to, ever to Sweden. Okay. The Monospecu with yep. the single mirror, sing singles mir mirror, and the Centrum Nut. Uh, also, you know, only with. Um, one owner car with a few thousand kilometers. Wow. Then we have the Mono Dado. Yeah. Also a European car in white. It's a real Miami Vice car. Yeah. And um, that is actually, I like, love to drive it. It's before they came in, you know, to this Catalyst car. So it's a bit more sound, I think, yeah. even more fun to drive than the next generation. Yeah. Um, and then we step into the 512 TR. That is maybe the most beautiful one, I think. <laughs> um, it changed a bit the shape of the, yeah. of the um, engine. The, 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 the front is more modern and it's better brakes, um, more power, yeah. better chassis. And, and then we have the real, 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 uh, they're all gems, but 
the yeah. 512M, that for many years was not so appreciated, I think is really... Well, they're, they're kind of unusual looking. Yeah. And it, it puts people in, in, a, in a situation of they love it or they hate it. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't like it from the beginning, now I love it. Yeah. <laughs> they made 501 okay. of these cars, and these are super serviced, ready to go, Sound is amazing. It's kind of like the, the GTO <laughs> TDF version, right? It's lighter weight, it's more dynamic. Yeah, I would say, you know, the GTO TDF, uh, it's a bigger step yeah. <laughs> even, but, but it's a big step yeah. compared to the TR. It's a big difference, especially compared to the first generation. Yeah. We actually did Targa Florio with this car. Oh, cool, <laughs> very cool. <laughs> but it's, it's um, uh, that's a um, real favorite yeah. as a driver. Wow. Mm. Well, when it comes to special Italian cars, this is, this is quite the place to behold. <laughs> Italian plus one American. Yeah. Um, but we should head over to, to go to look at a very different Italian car. Let's, Let's go check it. out the LMW2. This is the car then. This is a car with quite yeah. a story. Yeah, it has, yeah, this car has quite a story. And we actually, it's been a hidden gem here at Moticon. We had it for a few years, yeah. but we didn't show it. Oh, and, really? And today, I think it's going to be, uh, I actually drove it a few hundred yards yeah. yesterday, okay. but today is going to be the first real test drive we ever did with the car. That is quite amazing. Yeah. Because, so I've always had this fascination with the cars from the Sultan of Brunei's collection because the whole, the whole concept of taking something and going so extreme with it, it yeah. it's just the money, no object, <laughs> passion for cars, passion for crazy cars, right? You were telling me this is how much heavier than the standard one? It's 500 kilos heavier than the standard one. And, and then it's not a light car to begin with. No, it's over 3,000 kilos to begin with. Yeah. So, but uh, <laughs> no, no, this is a, a one-off car. They made three, but it's only one that was factory sanctioned. Yeah. So this is the one. So this is the yeah. original yeah. one-off. Because there are only, I think it's a few over 300 LM002s in the first place. That's correct. Which, which has its, this whole amazing story, because effectively they took the engine from the Kuntai, Kuntai right? yeah. having struggled to make these military vehicles, they weren't really getting anywhere. No. And then, boom, here it is. <laughs> they decided to make it. Precursor to everything. You no, at... it's, it's, it's like, um, yeah, without compromise. Absolutely. You look <laughs> at the popularity now of things like the Urus and the Pura Sangue and the Bentayga and everything, yeah. right? This was the original. Yeah. I mean, can we take a look at the interior? Yeah. The, the you inter want to start in the front or in the back? I, well, let's start up front <laughs> for the moment, the, the normal part of it. Yeah. Let's come around because the, the crazy thing with it is that it's this massive off-roading military spec truck, but finished with plush leather. Yeah. <laughs> just over the top. And actually, this one is very well kept. It only has 10,000 kilometers. And now we're going to bring it back to the original conditions, you know, so, but we, we want to make the touch and feel still original. So yeah. we don't want to overdo it. And technically, the car runs really, really nice. And yeah. the, the Countach engine is quite, it's a stable yeah. engine, you know. Um, but you feel in the doors here, you know, you feel the yeah. weight. It's, it's, uh, Makes a G-Wagon door look light. <laughs> yeah. And then you come to the back of this. this. This is what makes the car, you know. <laughs> It's absolute crazy. I wonder what happened here in the back. Oh, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> well, the, the, the amount of space, there's a television in here, isn't there? Yeah, and it's not the flat screen. No, no, no. <laughs> and uh, and um, I know it's updated with, um, with um, a bit more modern DVD, yeah. um, but otherwise it's absolutely original. Because what's the history of this car? So first commissioned, obviously, by the Sultan of Brunei. Yes. And it's, it's built, it was sanctioned by the factory, but, but the, the, the build is done by uh, the company Diamante. Yeah. Uh, and, um, uh, and then he had a car in the collection. It drove, I think, it was like 1,800 kilometers or something. Yeah. And then it was bought by the, the former Volkswagen and former BMW uh, CEO, Bernd Pich, Pichetsrido, yeah. if I pronounce it right. That's <laughs> that quite also cool. was the CEO of Scania. This, that was, you know, the Swedish company. Yeah. <laughs> so he, so it was Sultan of Brunei's, mm. then Burns. Then and Burns, yeah. And Burns, what was great that he really put in a lot of time and energy into, yeah. to get it a real tooth because, you know, 
he's just a man of details, so it yeah. has a real tooth with the extra weight and everything in the registration. So we're happy about that. It's wow. <laughs> because that's, that, that's cool. not an easy thing to, no, to, so do, it has to do. Effectively, official paperwork in Germany, which is notoriously difficult, yeah. as a one-off yes. vehicle with the right, correct weight and everything. So it's it's uh, we're happy about that. That is and, genuinely uh, amazing. And actually, I knew about this car for eight years. I've been hunting to get it. Yeah. <laughs> and in the end, uh, we had to buy a few cars at the same time, yeah. and it was a real barn find. It yeah. was with this thick of uh, dust really? written all over it by <laughs> kids. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, we collected it in the middle of the winter. And, uh, and then we, we've been hiding it. And now for the last three months, we're starting to do all the technical. Um, yeah, we go through the car. For sure. So I mean, what's the plan? Because of course it's, you know, it's a, what, 1989. It's, yeah, it's a few years back. It's got some, some it's years under its belt. Yeah. It's a 35-year-old car. And we fought it over. We think we, we should, this car needs to be, we're going to do the, the optic renovation. Yeah. And right now, we're you know, deciding if it should be you know, by Top Motors or Diamante or yeah. Bacchelli Villa or who you know. We want to, the people that really would love to do this project because it's important for us. Yeah, yeah. So that, but it's, it's, that's the next step. And we want to do that maybe together with the LP400 yeah. to bring okay. that back in the, ah. in the, in the original color spec. So yeah. that's, that's the project we're planning. To kind of work on them together. Yeah. I'm just noticing from here, and this is the funny thing, yeah. the, the shape of this, to have these massive hood scoops. <laughs> like. I think this was not this, the first they designed. This they had to design, you yeah. know, to make, you know, here's how there is for to manage the sand okay. scoops. And, and this is, of course, to make the Countach engine fit. To fit. And, and you will notice when you drive it, it's a quite a view. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, really a, a, an obstructed view. Yeah. So what happens with things like tires for this? Like, how do you deal with that? <laughs> Let's not talk about the tires because no. we need new ones now. And we, we actually found there's one set available worldwide. Okay. And um, it's hard to negotiate the price. When well, there's, there's only, only one. one set, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's it's not less than 50,000 euros to change Oof. the tires. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but we will trust the old Pirelli Scorpions today. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll yeah. take it super easy. Yeah. I mean, I just find everything about this. May I, may I climb in? Definitely. Can I, can I give that a go? <laughs> Try and get in here? Because the, the seats are actually a different size, aren't they? Yeah, it's to be able to get uh, in a really smooth way to get in in the back. <laughs> that, that, wasn't, that wasn't too bad. No, no. That worked all right. So here it's... <laughs> You know, you have the stadium seating. You're sat really high <laughs> yeah. up in the back here, but also with the glass with the windows. No, it's quite good. And, and after uh, Mr. Pichetsrid had the car, there's been a Swedish owner. Okay. And it's actually, um, it's, it's a, um, a woman that drove this car with the kids to school during season all the time as a daily driver. No way. And they, they were, you know, really popular because they, they brought all their friends, you know, oh, back for sure. to school. So. I'm not sure how many people you're allowed to have in here. But, no, uh, I don't know that either. But it, it was squeeze, a few years ago, so it... <laughs> you could certainly squeeze, what, six kids back here, two more. Yeah, you could definitely bring a lot of friends along yeah. for, for the ride. Nice and light. It's really light. It's very <laughs> yeah. airy. Crazy thing. Yeah, and still you feel the leather is still, you know. Yeah, it's not it's bad. Good snow. And so we, we don't want to, we really need to think over what you do to do and yeah. what not to do to destroy the original, original condition. I, yeah. I, I, you know, you only have so many original cars as you have. They're getting less and less restored cars. You can always do. Yeah. <laughs> but the original ones there. Yeah, it's, they, it's you, finding you, the This right. is a piece of history. So. It's the right kind of balance on it. Yeah. And this really, you know, the... the the driver's cockpit with this super wide centrum funnel. It's, it's a, you, you will feel it when you drive it. It's yeah. quite special. It's quite a unique thing. Yeah, yeah. So let me try and swing myself back <laughs> out from here. <laughs> it's like being in a, yeah. uh, in a minibus or a coach or something, <laughs> right? That was okay, not yeah. too bad. And it's huge. And then it, but it's, it's not so easy to use the, 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 the luggage compartment in the back. Yeah, I mean, it's there's... welded together. Because <laughs> <laughs> is it? Do you know if it's is it longer or is this just replacing the bed at the back? Uh, it must be a touch longer. For me, it's longer, but that's 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 a guess. Yeah, what a thing! Mm -hmm. um, I suppose then it's going to be time to go grab the keys. Let's in a start moment start the end. Yeah. <laughs> that actually sounds amazing. 
the sound of the Lamborghini V12 as we now shuffle this out of the showroom. As Philip was saying, the back of it, completely welded, sealed. Only entry is through the side door. What a thing. LM002 squeezes past Kuntash. <laughs> right, let's head outside and go get ready for this. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we take, um, take it for spin and then you tell me when you want to take over. With pleasure. Yeah. What an unusual so, thing. I feel like there's kind of a whole car between us here. Yeah, it's quite far away. It's not. It's not like the Hammer H1, but no, true, uh, true. That's but, even crazier. But this whole seating position is very unusual. You know, it's so yeah. flat. It feels like it's done for a golf or something. And the view we have <laughs> forwards over yeah. over this is quite funny. The hood bumps. Okay. Mm -hmm. So dog leg manual. Yeah. Good to go. <laughs> it's quite amazing. Great sound. Yeah. This makes no sense. So technically, the Ferrari Pura Sangue is not the only V12 SUV. <laughs> no. I mean, actually, technically, there's also the Cullinan, but hey, this is a V12. And this is a real SUV. Off I think, yeah. I think of the Cullinan and the Pura Sangue. I think I would say this is a real SUV. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a like soft off-roader <laughs> for comfort and practicality. This is full-blown crazy. It's quite ridiculous that this exists. Yeah, it's absolutely. Like you look backwards and it's like you can fit two, four, six, eight, you put ten people in here. Yeah. And you can think, you know, for for kids going to school, this must be the best <laughs> car ever. Go a bit further here, and then um, I think you need to take over. I would love you need, to. You need to drive it <laughs> to see what this is like. To give it a go, we could say to have a first go. Time to swap around. Yeah. Oh, we've still got the lights <laughs> on, so it's beeping, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So here I am, LM002. Right. <laughs> so uh, one second. What's your immediate impression? Feels like a big heavy thing, doesn't it? <laughs> it feels like a very, very big heavy thing. And I tell you what else, from the driver's seat, the hood, yeah. the bonnet, you've got this massive blind spot. There could be a person over there. <laughs> yeah, and you probably have, a bus. There could be a bus <laughs> over there. And you'd have, I mean, this is basically a big minibus. Yeah. And it's amazing how narrow it is here where you sit in the seating area. Yeah. How small it is here for the legs for that huge car. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my seating position is tiny. It's almost, it's almost as compact as a Valkyrie. <laughs> it's such an incredible story behind the LM002 to begin with. Yeah. Like it's such a, it's a kind of messy story, you know. It's a whole, like it wasn't really happening. They went through so many different paths yeah. to try and make it, and eventually they did. Yeah. And then, well, the crazy thing is that they actually. In all the challenges the factory had all the time, yeah. economic, that they decided to do this project. Yep. I mean, when they hammered it, they said, "Let's do it." Let's do it. <laughs> that, that must have been. A... I wonder how the first conversation went. You know, when the Sultan or or his team reached out and said, "I'd like to make a <laughs> one that's a little bit different." Yeah. A wagon version, please. And how the spec was, you know. Yeah. How many persons should fit in the back? <laughs> I am quite happy in here. Yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying this. This is a cool place to be. And how do you feel? You feel powerful behind oh, this uh, bonnet? You feel very, very <laughs> in control. You yeah. feel like the boss. Yeah. You, know, you feel like you are the man when you're driving this. Shifter is quite a long way sideways. Yeah. Takes some yeah. adapting to where it is as a police car goes yeah. past. Yeah. <laughs> probably <laughs> wonders what on earth this thing is. And we have some lights on at least. Yeah. Because you know, nobody on the road knows what this is. No, no one. Car guys do not know what no, this no. is. But actually, I think the last. Um, the last, I mean, the, the last year, year and a half, I, yeah. I've, I've seen the LM002 
002 is getting more and more attention. Oh, for it's sure. A, yeah, yeah. People have yeah. started to realize how cool this thing is. No, we really, this is um, to, to uh, we're really proud to have this project because yeah. it's, um, it's, it's something really special. Sometimes you find rare cars and one off, but then with this story. Yeah. With, um, the few owners, the documentation, and um, um, it's such a unique piece. Yeah, completely. And you actually can use it. <laughs> it's the <laughs> definition of unique. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I often think like of something being the most unique, anything unique is unique. Yeah. But this is really and truly uh, yeah, a concoction of cool, <laughs> you know? Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a strange combination of type of car and engine. Because the engine feels like old Lamborghini supercar. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yet you're in a vehicle which is, well, not exactly playing the uh, lightweight <laughs> sports or supercar philosophy. No. It's about just being a little bit crazy. And that's what you saw at the time, right? The people that bought these were celebrities yeah. or controversial figureheads and characters and people to whom it was a statement. It was a kind of like... It was a lot of celebrities, I remember. That. Yeah. It was Tina Turner. Uh, yeah. It was um, for sure some dictators as well. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> well, back outside the car. <laughs> yeah. It's huge, isn't it? I just... Um, I don't know what to compare it with, you know. No, I, I had a Hammer H1, but yeah. this is something else. This is revs, and it's uh, this crazy V12 under there, like an animal. <laughs> Just the way it's presented, the way it's yeah. finished. I like but, seeing it outside, because obviously we only saw it from inside the showroom. Yeah. I think, the, um, I, actually, I think the shape from the, from the front, I think yeah. it's super cool. From the back, it's, uh, it's something different. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so I, funny. I, I, I it's really enormous. I never think they will ever build a car like this again. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. even the, the design, it's so square, boxy, yeah. aggressive, yeah. just angry, right? The, fact, the yeah. fact that you've yeah. got all of this going on, the fact that you've got <laughs> kind of winches and whatnot, and the tires are massive. Yeah, and this, yeah, it's 345 tires, uh, 17 inch, and um, yeah. No, no, it's massive, but I, I you know, I think, uh, the experience uh, <laughs> uh, to have it when you know you're a big company going for a nice dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, no. The only thing we got wrong was not going for a ride just now in the back. Yeah, yeah actually, that, that, that's that's maybe you know one of the best places in the car if you're not too tall. Yeah, yeah. I should have jumped into the back while you were driving. <laughs> and the doors that you feel yeah. they have, they're so heavy. It's crazy. Proper clumps. Yeah. Well, I'd like to say thank you very much. Thank you for showing us thank around. Thank you, Tim. It, it was great. Thank you for the Pleasure. drive in this. <laughs> what an epic visit here with you guys at Motocon. What a place you've got set up. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Congratulations. You're all welcome to visit us. For sure. That's where we're here, you know. Thank you. Yeah. I think we're going to wrap it up there. The LM002 clearly stands out as something that makes no sense at all. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that this is a car that served an amazing purpose because I think it's pretty much universally agreed that it exists because it's cool and because of the why not factor. But what a day to come here, to spend some time with Philip, to have a look around, to take in Motocon. And like I said at the very start, what a surprise. I didn't really know what to expect today. I kind of knew that this was around, but what an opportunity to take it out and be able to share it because so many things like this exist, but you'll never see them. They're hidden away. They're lost in many cases. This has been found and it will return to the roads where it belongs. So a big thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for this time. Do check out Motocon and certainly some of the events coming up in the area as well. That's it for now and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.